Hi everybody, my name is Barry. This is Barrett, say hi. Hi. We're here at the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. We're here in June, today's June 12th, and the park is open after hours until 9 p.m. Uh, they just do this in June uh, for the late summer hours. So it's really hot outside. It's 108 degrees right now. We're gonna head inside and go see some animals. Let's have fun. All right, let's go, Bear. All right, we just got through the admission gate. We have an annual pass, so we just scanned our card and we're in, just like that. A lot of natural desert. So you can see by these dirt paths, there's not a lot of landscaping going on here. We kept it as original as the desert could be. Right now we're heading over to the mountain woodland where the mountain lion, they have a black bear, Mexican gray wolves, mule deer. We're gonna go check out this little area right now. There's the backpack king over here. I can't even see you. There he is, the backpack king. <laughs> First thing we should be walking up to right now is the the rear viewing window of the mountain lion enclosure. It should be right here on the left. And if our mountain lion is here, well, if he's not here right now. Last time we were here, Barrett, where was the mountain lion? Right there. Right there on this rock, laying right there. But looking down, we have to go around to the other side. There's a much greater viewing area, so we're gonna go over that way. Hi there. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm good. Enjoying the heat? <laughs> I just got here, how about you guys? Yeah, we just got here too, we just yeah. walked in. All right, so Barrett and I just got here. We came over to the mountain woodland where the uh, mountain lions, the black bears, the Mexican wolves, white-tailed deer, uh, they're all supposed to be out, but it's still super hot. The sun's still up. It's 106, I believe, right now. Where are they all hiding at, Bear? They're hiding in their caves. Yeah, they don't want to come out and get in this hot sun. So the, uh, the docents that are around this area, they recommended we come back a little later in the evening. So that's what we're going to do uh, right now. We're going to head probably over towards the, uh, the Bighorn Sheep exhibit and go try to check them out. There's beavers over there, uh, river otters, things like that. So let's go that way. Barrett's over here chug chugging on his little chug jug. And they have refill stations of water, which is very handy because you can drink a lot of water out here in the desert. That's for sure. There's a restroom all around the facility, there's several restrooms. All right, now we're gonna make our way around this beautiful scenic outlook area. Sorry, there's a big cooling fan down here. But check that thing out. Nice little view deck. There's a very, very long walking path out through the desert. You can see all of the, the open path areas, people down there. All right, we're walking into the Life on the Rocks walkthrough exhibit. This should be snakes, reptiles, birds. Let's see what we got over here. Ooh. spiders oh my gosh that is a very large snake look at that baby it's a western diamondback rattlesnake you 
see its big rattle. Let's see if we can get right up to his face. I don't want to make him mad. You see him flicking his tongue, Barry? Mm -hmm. He's sniffing the, the air. Trying to see what's going on out around. There's the, oops, bumped it. Right there, you can see the rattles. Looks like he wants to crawl away. Very cool. Look at how look at how long that snake is. Cool Brock size. <laughs> I'm glad we got to see him before he went away. <clears throat> All right, what do we have now over here? All right, in this exhibit, it says there's rock loving snakes. So there's a tiger rattlesnake and a speckled rattlesnake. Let's see if we can find some snakes. I don't see a snake right there, and there. Oh yeah, there's one. You can't hardly see it though. Yeah, I can't see that one in there. They sure give these these snakes a really good place to hide, so they feel That's safe. There's a tarantula in there. There's a tarantula in this little hole. Look at this hole. Right here. Yeah, I like this this rock wall that they built. There's a lot of glass partitions all through the. Look at that. This is a road runner, and he just got his food. A little piece of a mouse. Poor thing looks like he's blind in this eye, so he can't see us over here. Yeah, he's definitely blind in his right eye. There you are. We can see you now. <laughs> that was that was unexpected. He came running around the corner with this piece of food in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Pretty big too. He's gonna go somewhere and try to enjoy his munch. Some people may not enjoy watching a roadrunner eat a piece of mouse, but that's life. That's how things go. All right, so we're we're looking at this rock wall that has a bunch of glass. Uh, areas cut in it to uh, to showcase the animals that live in the rocks. Right inside of there, there's a little tarantula. Right down here as well, there's a tarantula. Really hard to get because there's a, a big glare. There, you can kind of see them right there. There's a big kid in there. There's one right there, and there's one right there. Oh, there he is, I found him. What? A Gila monster. Where? Is there a sign for a Gila monster? I don't see a Gila monster sign anywhere. All right, let's come down here. Let me check out the Gila monster. There it is, right there. Big old Gila monster down there. Oh look, there's a huge jackrabbit right up there. Do you see him? Mm -hmm. I didn't see him, I just saw his little head. There he is. 
It's a monster jackrabbit. Do you ever see jackrabbits before? Mm -hmm. They're a lot bigger than a, just the regular small. Oh, look at our uh, Roadrunner friends coming to see us again, too. <laughs> we got a Roadrunner, jackrabbit. It says there's also squirrels in here, lizards, crab spiders, a lot of different things. This Roadrunner really wants the attention, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. He just keeps jumping in front of us. <laughs> right there next to the Great Roadrunner sign. <laughs> the Greater Roadrunner. What's up, buddy? You gonna eat that or just run around showing it off? Oh. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. All right, let's see what's over here, buddy. Uh, there's skunks, a striped skunk. You think there's a skunk in here? It's not out right now. You can see there's a little, little cage back there. They let him in and out from. Oh, wow. Come here, bird. This is not part of the exhibit. This is a natural mm -hmm. wild. You see this tail? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a wild big lizard. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's a very proud roadrunner. It is. Wow, you're really proud of that kill. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Hey. Hey, Give your flashlight, Bear. Yeah. Yeah. You can kind of see it back there, but there's a real long lizard right there he's nestled himself into the rocks all right we just just got into cat canyon right now this is the enclosure for the uh, gray fox and he's taking a sweet little nap ooh, ooh. there we go just taking a sweet little nap right there Very colorful. He's got some white underbelly, some orange on his legs and sides, and then his back is pretty much all gray. Doesn't look like he's doing much though. Next up is this ocelot. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two last feathers. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like our doggy, like our doggy Johnny. He's just sitting there grooming himself, having a nice evening bath before bedtime, right, Bert? Yep. <laughs> I was thinking uh, that they would appreciate that, but I don't think they did it. Okay, so yeah, these, these ocelots aren't from our area in southern Arizona, they're from Tropical forests, you said? Tropical and temperate forests. Gotcha. But he seems to be doing well here in the desert. Pick it up. Why? We can't see him very well, but you can see his little black tipped ears sleeping there on the ledge up there. He may, he may come out and jump around a little bit later as the sun goes down. And right there's the ocelot again that we saw downstairs. Look at him playing. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, we're going now to the, uh, let's go check out the river otters. Down there for the first time, we have the river otter. Don't see this thing very often. But he's eating dinner, hanging out, having fun. Let's see if we can get a, an angle. I 
know you love otters, bear. This is my little baby bear. Checking out his favorite little animal down there, the river otter. Look at how wide his tail is. You think it's all muscle or like mostly fur? Muscle. He can swim really well. Mm -hmm. There he is. We're gonna go to the underground viewing area right now. Go see if we can see the river otter in this little den. We're excited about that. Right, here's the underground. Yeah, I knew he was down here. There he is. So that was the pond that I was looking down. There he is. Check him out. Yeah, like, like, what is that dragon thing? Well, it's they were like under the water, so I was like, oh, okay. Scared them. Oh, That's awesome. Right here, we're in the underground viewing area. There's little fish aquariums. <laughs> Some of the chub fish and other smaller fish that we can see. And right behind me is the beaver den. Is he up here? Oh my gosh, check that beaver out. Hold that light for a minute. There's the beaver right there. I can't see what it is. There's a reflection in your hand. Is that his head right there? Oh yeah, I can see it right there. It's a little head. The beaver's just napping. This big old tail, you can see his big floppy tail back there, Bear. Mm -hmm. Big black thing. Yeah. He's just laying there on his back. Oh, look at him. He's chomping his teeth around. What's he doing? He's going <laughs> Look at his. <laughs> you see him? He had his his head laying on his leg, mm -hmm. just swimming in circles. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, we just walked out of the underground viewing area for the river otter and the beaver and the couple uh, fish. The ram. You see the third one up there? Yeah, yeah, I see the one against the wall, the one in the back, and the one up front. That one against the wall is amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beaver's still laying. I'm 
There's his entry back into the the water. I've never seen him swimming around. Put some squeaky shoes on this linoleum. Yeah. Is the kid back? Every time I come up here, he jumps back down. There he is, I found him. He's that spinning circles kid, look at him. He's like dead to put his head on his leg like that. <laughs> What's he doing? Or she? Honors or so. She really liked you guys last time. Remember? We were talking to her to go walk. I think she's trying to be just pretty. Or she's trying to get Keeps doing the same thing, huh? Nice. Sun is going down. See these beautiful desert plants. All of them all are also happy to be out of the sun. Now we're gonna go to the stingray touch. I don't know why there's stingrays here at the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, but there are. Stingray touch exhibit. Uh, we are, look at all of the wasps over there on that, that tree, the Palo Verde tree. There are wasps everywhere. Okay. Stingrays in the desert? Yeah, they're down in the, the Gulf of, uh, Gulf of California. Yeah, you could use the, the kneeling thing right there if you want. All right. We just got into the stingray touch thing. Everybody wash their hands. Uh, all right. All we're supposed to do is, is quiet hands. Just hold your hand in there quietly. Just like that. You can go deeper if you want to try to get down lower. Yeah. That's what they say. <laughs> you didn't know they were coming? All right, here's my, my hand right there. It's Barrett's hand. Let's see how many stingrays we can see up close. I haven't seen any yet. Super close, huh? Here comes one. He looks pretty tall. Nope, she's too far away. Zoom. Zoom. We're right here. Let's try this right here. We move positions. One of the docents asked us uh, to move over this way. He said we'd probably have a little better luck. So here comes one. We're supposed to put our hands gently in the water. Looks like he's coming up, Bert. He's not trying to splash you. Just put your arms here. Yep. They will come by and they will touch you. Is he coming up? They can't steal you because they have a bar. But where the barb is, the barb is right at the base of their tail right there. I haven't touched one yet, Burr. I touched three. Oh, that one bumped me a little bit. Oh, there's a little bit. 
<laughs> you got him, bear. All right, we're walking back up to the, the front entry area. There's a little gift shop and a refreshment stand up there. And they give, they give you a free, a free beverage with your annual membership. So that's where we're going right now. The sun's going down and we're still here at the Desert Museum for about another hour and a half. Look at the look at the sunset bird. It's got that pretty orange look to it. Mm -hmm. You want to go up there? There's a, cool view up there? There's a what? A cool view up there? Yeah. All right, lead the way, buddy. I'm right behind you. We're gonna go up to the the higher viewpoint up here. Go see the sunset a little bit. Hey. Sure gets a little breezy up here, huh, bear? Right down there. There's a Choya cactus. You ever see that stuff? Mm -hmm. Ask your brother Tanner about Choya cactus. Hi. Riding his bicycle. He'll tell you a fun story. <laughs> now even though we are in a you know a path, we're in the real desert. So there's no boundaries there's no snake proof fences or anything like that so we really have to watch our path snakes like to hide up you know in these little shady areas under the rocks and when the sun goes down they'll come out and uh warm themselves up on the, the hot concrete check out that it's a neat little waterfall area oh yeah can you can you get that sneaky huh i'll take it Shut that off. Don't crawl up there. They won't like that. Let's move back over there to the left. There's a little mouse there too. Oh yeah, look at him. Him running around right there. Doop, 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 doop. Here's the Mexican gray wolves. There's one laying right there by the tree. The other one's just staring you down. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. They do lots of napping, don't they? Let's see, this, this area right here is supposed to have deer in it. Mm. I haven't seen a deer in here for quite a while. There's a lot of walls that are built up and kind of difficult to see in this place. Let me know if anybody else sees a deer, because I do not. All right, going in to go see some reptiles and invertebrates. Here we go. The Gila monster. Check out the big old Gila monster. Ooh, look at this. What's this one? This one's an Arizona. I'm not very good. Check this one out. It's the Arizona black rattlesnake. What else is there? More rattlesnakes? Wow, look at that kid sleeping right there. What's the other one? Check him out, he's just laying there on the, on the tree branch. That's cool. Pretty scary. And there's another little snake back there on the wall. Can't see him very well, but he's a little rattlesnake also. And there's more snakes and snakes and boa snakes and more snakes. Let's check out this one, the Mojave. This one's the Mojave rattlesnake. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Let's check out this one right here. It's right up next to the glass. This one right, this one right here is the Western Diamondback. Tiny little guy. You remember the first snake that we saw at the uh, the outdoor glass enclosure? Mm -hmm. That was one of these. Let's go check out over here. I think there was a a cantail. I don't know what kind of snake that is. It looks like it's a. Uh, it's right there. You see it up there? Creepy looking. He's staring right at us. It's pretty much nine o'clock now. Desert Museum should be closing here in a few minutes. We're just checking out these Bujum trees lit up with the uh, the blue lights. They're Pretty crazy looking things. Let's get the silhouette. We're just about to leave right now. We walked right over to the mountain lion exhibit and the uh, mountain lion's just laying up here on its little basking in the sun rock. You can just see its uh, silhouette from the, uh, the light that's up there on the side of the wall. Let's try to put a little bit of light up here so you can see a little better. What do you think, Bar? Window, let's see. You can see his back. You can see him. Can you see? Oh, see, his, see his tail, Bar? Mm -hmm. Tucked between his legs. Oh my goodness, look close. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Oh, that's beautiful. He doesn't look this way. <laughs> 
There you are. Oh, wow. It's so big, guy. You said it's oh, a, he turned around. You said it's a lady, right? Oh, it's Cruz. It's Cruz. Oh, great. He's a it does look oh, cool. Wow. Awesome. That's a good picture. Just look. Just sitting there panting. You see your belly up there? I've never seen it actually. It's just starting in the dark. <laughs> you think the light would bother her, but it's very only Look at the size of her paws. <laughs> wow. What a beauty. Wow. Lots of beautiful jewelry and pottery. All this, all those lights. Look at the lights in the camera. Watch. <laughs> yeah. It's brought. Look at all these animals. These are like the uh, the cocoa animals, I think. They're really pretty. I like that bowl. My next birthday, I want that bowl right there. They're only probably a couple hundred dollars. Like that one up there. I can see its price tag on the, the lion up there. Six hundred and fifty dollars. The bowl is one ninety-five. Nice. They're really pretty, though. All right, everybody. This is the end of our night at the uh, Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. We had a good time making it, walking around, laughing, burning in the sun, drinking lots of drink, seeing lots of cool stuff. So it was, it was a good time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Show me one. All right. Anything else? How about hit them up with one of them sheeshes. No? Sheesh! All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.